Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate the inverse of a 3x3 matrix. Now I will timestamp each part of the video below so you can just skip through to a worked example at the end if you want. Uh, if this video is useful then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. So let's first start off with a generic matrix M. So you can see here I have a matrix M which is 3x3 three three. and the first thing we're going to want to do when finding its inverse is find its determinant. Okay, for two reasons. One, we're going to use the determinant in our formula for the inverse, but also it's going to let us know if our matrix M is even going to have an inverse to find. The second step is we need to find what we call the cofactor matrix. So I'll use the letter C to represent that. And this is going to be a three by three matrix. Now the top left element of this new matrix, so this one here, can be found by removing the rows and columns of the top left element okay, of our matrix M. Now you can see we're left with these four elements here and what we need to do is find the determinant of those four elements okay so let me write that down here so we're going to find the determinant of e f h and i then we move on to the second element on the first row of our cofactor matrix and to find that i remove the rows and columns of the second element in the first row of matrix m and you can see we're left with these four elements here and we find the determinant of those. So let me write that down. So finding the determinant of D, F, G, and I. And finally, for the first row, for this final element, I remove the rows and columns of element C, and we're left with this two by two matrix here. And we find the determinant of that. So I'm finding the determinant of D, E, G, and H, okay? Now, these are called the cofactors for each element. So this cofactor here is the cofactor for the element A, and so on. Now what I'm going to do is write down this full matrix, and I'll come back once it's finished. Okay, so now I've put in all of the cofactors for each element. The final thing we need to do to find the cofactor matrix is assign a positive or negative sign to each of these elements. And we do this by, by using the 3x3 uh, three three sign matrix we looked at in the determinant video. So it's a 3x3 three three matrix like this, which just has alternating pluses and minuses like so and we just assign a plus or a minus to each element in the cofactor matrix so this one here will be negative as you can see because it aligns with this negative and these will also be negative hopefully you can see that I think that's it's pretty clear so let's put those in so this will be a negative this will and this will so that's our cofactor matrix we now have to take the transpose of this so the third step is to take the transpose of the cofactor matrix and we call this the adjoint matrix but we don't really need to know that we just need to know we take the transpose of that and then finally we just multiply it by the determinant to get the inverse so the inverse of our matrix M is 1 over the determinant multiplied by the transpose of the cofactor matrix so let's now take a look at an example where we're actually using it because I think hopefully that will make it a bit more clear what's going on so you can see here we are given a matrix A and we need to calculate its inverse. So the first step is we're going to find its determinant. So the determinant of A is equal to, and I'll use the first row, hopefully you're familiar with how to find the determinant of A, or a 3x3 three three matrix rather. I'm going to do 2 multiplied by 3 times 2, which is 6, subtract 3 times 1, minus 3 lots of 2 times 2, which is 4, subtract 3 times 4, which is 12, and then finally plus one multiplied by three times uh, two times one, which is two, subtract three times four, which is 12. And so we get two lots of uh, three, which is six, minus three lots of negative eight, which is positive 24, and then minus 10. So the determinant of our matrix A is equal to 20. So therefore it does have an inverse. From here we're going to find our cofactor matrix, so I'll write that over here, our cofactor matrix. Uh, and so I'm trying to fit it all onto the same page, so let me draw this out. And remember, the top left element of our cofactor matrix is what we get when I eliminate the rows and columns of our top left element of matrix A and find the determinant of what's left. So it's going to be the determinant of, whoops, let me write it in black, 3, 3, 1, 2. Remembering the signs too, the next one's going to be negative. And so let me get rid of these highlights quickly. It's going to be negative, the determinant of 2, 3, 4, 2. And then finally, 2, 3, 4, 1. 
I'm then going to take the negative determinant of 3, 1, 1, 2. Uh, then we're going to take the positive determinant of 2, 1, 4, 2. And then finally the negative determinant of 2, 3, 4, 1. And then for the final row, we're going to take the positive determinant of 3, 1, 3, 3. Negative the determinant of 2, 1, 2, 3 and the positive determinant of 2, 3, 2, 3. Okay, let's now actually calculate this cofactor matrix. Uh, I don't know where to write it, I'll bring it down actually, just because I want to have enough space where it's clear where all of this is coming from. So here it is, let me put that bracket back on. And so what we will have is 3 times 2, subtract 3 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, subtract 12 is negative 8 but remember we've got that minus sign so it's plus 8 2 times 1 is 2 Mo uh, subtract 3 times 4 which is 12 so we get negative 10 then we're going to get 3 times 2 is 6 subtract 1 is 5 so minus 5 2 times 2 is 4 subtract 4 is 0 2 times 1 is 2 uh, subtract 12 is negative 10 but remember it's negative so plus 10 uh, then we get 9, subtract 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 4 is negative 4, and uh, 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 6, so we get 0. Okay, so that's our cofactor matrix. Then remember, we find the adjoint matrix, which is its transpose. So the transpose of this is going to be 3, 8, negative 10, minus 5, 0, 10, and 6, negative 4, 0. And remembering, if, you're, if you can't remember, to find the transpose, you just flip the rows and columns. So the first row of our matrix C uh, becomes the first column of our C transpose. The second row of matrix C becomes the second column of our transposed matrix. And finally, the third row of matrix C becomes the third column of our transpose. From here, let me just get rid of these highlights. Um, what we're going to do is take one over the determinant. So our inverse now, we're ready to find the inverse of A is 1 over the determinant multiplied by our C transpose. So in fact, to save time, I'll copy and paste that over. And so there we go. That's how you find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. It's quite a long process. Hopefully that does make sense. If it does, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.